So I did a favorites video a couple of weeks ago and I mentioned coconut oil. And ever since then you guys have been requesting a coconut oil video where I basically tell you guys all the uses that I use it for, um, beauty related. I'm not even going to touch upon the health benefits of coconut oil because that's just a whole other video. Probably take 10 minutes on its own. Um, but before I get into coconut oil, I wanted to talk about the look I did today and just a really quick look that I did inspired by Beyonce's new video, Why Don't You Love Me? It's a really cute video if you guys haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out. But Beyonce is basically this 50s disgruntled housewife and uh, it's really cute. But um, I did a look loosely based on it, a little bit more wearable, minus the tears and everything. Um, check out the link. I will put a link to my blog to let you guys know what products I did use for this look. Anyway, back to coconut oil. The most obvious use for coconut oil is as a moisturizer. It is very moisturizing. Obviously, it's all natural. There's no chemicals in it. It's very gentle, hypoallergenic. So if you have any type of issues with skin products or you have sensitive skin, definitely try it out. Um, also, random fact about coconut oil, it is antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal. So if you have any eczema, any type of skin irritation, um, rashes, athlete's foot I've heard it works great for. I've never had athlete's foot, so can't really vouch for it, but it is antifungal, so if you or your man has athlete's foot, I don't even know if women get athlete's foot. I don't know. So you think coconut oil is really greasy if you put it on your face or on your body or anything, but it's actually really not. It absorbs really quickly and it makes your skin really nice and soft and smooth for a long time. And traditionally when you use lotion, it has a high water content. So as you guys know, water evaporates. And with coconut oil, there's nothing to evaporate, so it does keep your body moisturized a lot longer. Um, I use it as a tanning oil, and it's just so awesome for that. Um, keep in mind that my skin doesn't really burn, so if you have sensitive skin or you burn easily, definitely use an SPF under it. Um, coconut oil does have a little bit of a natural SPF in it, but I wouldn't rely on that if you do have skin that burns you. Sometimes I like to use it as a facial moisturizer. It is very rich in antioxidants and it's supposed to be anti-aging so that's always nice. Um, but again, it's not oily so I don't mind using it on my face. I know it sounds kind of weird like slathering vegetable oil in your face or something but it's not, I promise. Um, although I like to use it in the evening. I don't really like to use it in the daytime. My absolute favorite use for coconut oil is an eye makeup remover. It removes anything that's waterproof, any type of gel liner, mascara, anything. It's just wonderful for it. Um, you basically just put it on your cotton round and you kind of just let it sit on your eye for maybe 30 seconds or so and then you just wipe off and it's pretty much gone. So after I do that, I use a regular cleanser and toner, etc., cetera, et cetera. So, Really gentle, again, no chemicals, you don't have to worry about anything getting in your eyeball, and it's just really nice, you know, it's nice to know that you're not adding more chemicals to your skin. I've heard that it does help with eyelash growth, kind of like how people use castor oil for their lashes. I haven't tried it myself, so if any of you guys have tried it or are going to try it, let me know. I would love to know if it worked out for you. I have read all over the web that it has worked for a lot of people, though, so I'm curious to see if that works, although I don't think there's any help for my lashes. You guys have also seen me use it in my aspirin mask. I like to add it to my aspirin mask so that it sticks to my skin better. Because if I just put water, it kind of just flakes off eventually. Or if I put honey, it kind of just drips all over my face. So I like to put coconut oil in my aspirin mask. Also, another cool thing is if you put coconut oil and some sugar, it makes a really nice lip scrub and kind of exfoliates all the dead skin off your lips, so that's really nice. I also like to add it to my bath when I do get time for a bath, and it creates kind of a oil bath that's really moisturizing. So you basically just add about a tablespoon of coconut oil into your bath, and it will melt into your bath really nicely, and then you come out of the bath completely moisturized. Coconut oil does not have a strong scent at all. It smells slightly of coconut. 
um, depending on the brand that you get. Coconut oil also makes a great conditioner. So after you wash your hair, you kind of just leave it on your hair for 15-20 minutes or so. I do this with my daughter's hair because obviously I don't have any hair, but I, she has curly hair. So I just leave it in her hair and when she's ready to get out of the bath, I just rinse it off a little bit and it makes her curls nice and pretty and um, it just helps condition her hair really well. And again, no chemicals. So that's a huge, huge, huge plus for me. Because it doesn't have any chemicals and because it is hypoallergenic and really gentle, it's an awesome thing if you have children or babies. Um, diaper rash, I've mentioned this before. It's excellent for diaper rash. It's better than slathering all that desitin, ball neck, all that chemical crap on your baby's butt. I mean, you know, they don't need chemicals. If something works and it's natural, then use it. I mean, that's my opinion on it at least. Another thing is cradle cap. Cradle cap is really gross looking. I know you guys who have kids know what it looks like and it doesn't harm the baby at all or anything like that, but it's just kind of gross looking. So if you just put some coconut oil on their head and lightly brush it off, let it come off naturally, obviously. Don't scrub it, don't pick it off or anything, but it does kind of help with that. So you can purchase coconut oil at health food stores, at grocery stores with the health section or the organic section tend to carry them. Um, you can get it online as well. It's becoming easier to find. When I first started using coconut oil, geez, maybe four or five years ago, it was really hard to find. I had to order it online. So now I'm happy that I can just run to the store and grab it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, let me know if you do decide to pick some up and let me know if it worked out for you and what you use it for and everything. Um, but anyway, enjoy the beautiful day and I will see you guys soon.